So Apple just released their new M1 iMacs, and I mean, they're thin, but too thin for them to have any useful ports on them. Uh, they're ugly. I still can't put a VESA adapter on it myself unless I buy the VESA iMac. Um, the, the, the bezels are white, so if, if you want it to be ugly, I guess. Oh, uh, come on, Jack. Think of something nice to say. Apple, billion, trillion. No, they're a trillion dollar company. They have to have some redeeming qualities about this thing. Oh, gosh. Oh, right. Gigabit Ethernet. They have a gigabit Ethernet port on the power adapter that's on the floor. But only if you get the model that actually includes that. Yeah, these things kind of suck. But, uh, let's try and make it better. All right, for this DIY iMac to be a successful project, we need to have three main things. One, monitor on the desk with I.O. on the back of it. Two, only one cable coming off of the monitor going down to whatever computer we end up using. And three, it needs to be running Mac OS, specifically the latest version of, gosh, I don't even keep track of it anymore. But it, it, this, this, it needs to be running that. And I'm throwing in a fourth thing, no USB-C. We're gonna have real ports on this thing. Ports that you can plug stuff into. Not USB-C, not USB-C, not USB-C. USB-C, but not USB-C, not USB-C. On a desktop, dongles are stupid. And on a laptop, I don't wanna have to take them with me. You know what, we're gonna have an SD card reader in it. Cool, we're, we're, that, that's a fifth thing, SD card reader, because SD cards are useful. Also, I probably should have mentioned that my budget for this project is absolutely nothing. So we're gonna be using just all stuff I have either downstairs in the basement or upstairs in my room. So, I'm gonna just, come on, we're just gonna go. Ah, got it. Apple Cinema Display. Uh, one cable leaving it, ports on the back. We got our monitor. All right, now I need a, a computer to use. So let's go see what I have in the back. I just grabbed one of my Mac minis. I'm not sure what the specs of this one are. This is just the one I grabbed. Now all we have to do is plug all this stuff in using our dongle. So we got the, the DVI to HDMI adapter. All right, so we, we, plug, we plug this into the, to the, I, to the Mac mini. I mean, our iMac, uh, U, USB, uh, this thing's got firewire. Firewire, man, firewire. Can't can't use that though. Um, th then we plug in our, our our power to the to the power brick for the monitor because Apple's beautiful design requires a freaking power brick that's the same length as everything else. So I have to do this. App, what is this design? What? Why? Why? Okay, but we got we got this, and now we got the 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 the, the, the Mac the iMac's power cable. We plug that in there. We got nothing else. Also, we 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 have our Ethernet, so we can go Ethernet into the the back of the computer. With look at that. All right, now we just gotta plug this in and find a port. Why did I put Ethernet jacks in the closet? I don't know, man, but I did. Now we just gotta give our. Our, our, our iMac, some, some power, but I thought of that ahead of time. So, uh, big extension cord. iMac, look, app, it's booting. I did it, we did, I need peripherals, damn it. All right, so we got our, we got our, we got our, our, our keyboard. We can go, we can, we can plug it into the back of the monitor, because it's got USB ports. We got, we got our, our mouse. Again, we can plug it into the back of our, our iMac. Because guess what? This thing's got regular USB ports. You know, the ones that you can actually use. But check, the iMac has wireless peripherals and these are wired. Yeah, well look, I'm, I'm working with what I had on hand, okay? I didn't want to mess with batteries or anything, so. But we can go ahead and get signed in here. Look at that, Mac OS, it's even running Dante Via. And everything. If we go in our network preferences, Ethernet, connected, DHCP, IP address, Ethernet, update available, later. But uh, remind me tomorrow, but, but don't, please, because just go away. Um, okay, but now we need to do step three, which is getting this thing on the latest version of Mac OS, like the iMac runs. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and figure out how to do that. It booted, it booted. Okay, uh, let's get signed in here. And let's see what's new about Mac OS, what, Big Sur? Is that, that's, that's, that's some stupidity right there. It, it's, just, just give it a second. It's, it's, it's still, it's still loading. Look at that, look at that, iMac. We can open up Safari, uh, Safari. You gonna do something? You're not gonna do something, are you? Mm -mm, nope, mm -hmm. I'm gonna manually launch you. All right, and that's a, they said performance will be um, affected until, oh wow, what's happening with uh, YouTube.com here, and we're gonna see if they've fixed the whole, you know, 1080p limit with Safari. Built-in speakers, 
it's got a built-in speaker, this little... Now, if you're in the PC space, play... All right, now this video's 4K, so let's see if I can change it to 4K. Oh, I can! They fixed Safari! Can I double-click the windows and have them resize? Yes, I can. Now, you've probably never heard of AGP Tech, but the reason I have this one is because it's $50 instead of the 100 60 asked for by L. They fixed it. We can finally watch higher than 1080p in Safari, which is a big deal because Google Chrome on Mac OS uses a lot of CPU resources and stuff like that. So the fans are going on my laptop and I'm like, shut up. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Jack, that's not an iMac. That's just a Mac mini and a monitor on your desk. Well, ooga booga, iMac. This is all you need. This is all you need. Just push everything else out of the way. We got we got USBs that actually work because they're actual USBs. We can output to multiple displays if we want. We've got 4K in Safari, and we only have one cable leaving the desk. That's an iMac if I've ever seen one. And now I know what else you're gonna say. But Jack, show us the benchmarks. How does it compare to the other Macs or PCs? Well, I got you. Let's run Cinebench here. If I run Cinebench, we hit run. And its performance sucks just like a regular iMac. Although it did manage to beat something, so I feel pretty bad for the 5300U. So I restarted the computer and playback performance did improve. Uh, I can also now use Spotlight Search, so one plus one, or one plus one equals two. I can also do Safari and actually launch it now. So we also get the, the new weird like playback controls and control center up here. Um, I guess I can turn off down my brightness, although you can see it's using PWM to control the brightness So it starts flickering when I get down here, but sound got music controls. I wish I could control this Can I like get rid of this from here? No, I can drag them, but I can't do a darn thing with them. Oh, but I can put Widgets here Yeah, because on my computer I so greatly care about widgets. But yes, we built our own iMac Checkmate Apple. I mean, I did use Apple components to, to build it, but uh, still, I win. But anyway, guys, on a more serious note, uh, the Apple Cinema Display, I bought a couple of these guys off of Craigslist for like 20 bucks a pop, so I have two of them. I really like these displays, and the Mac Mini is just something that I'm pretty much using as an application server to allow me to do stuff with Dante and a few other tasks. So I decided to put it all together and just make this video and have some fun with it. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you wanna see me more in your subscription feed, go ahead and hit subscribe. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.